I went through a lot of um, emotions, I'll say, you know, after the penalty miss. Um, I had experiences of taking penalties last season, even big ones as well. And I think this one, um, you know, everyone misses penalties. But, you know, to miss a penalty, I was, I was obviously devastated. Um, I had a lot of abuse and everything after, you know, um, Frank Lampard was always had these arms around my shoulder, lifted me up, you know, the boys as well, I give credit to them. You know, it's like I never missed the way they supported me and lifted me up, and that's exactly what I needed. It's interesting because that that abuse, where were you when you first heard about it? I was saying the change room, straight after the game. So you went onto your phone? I did, I did. Um, you know, I'm not, I wasn't going to shy away from the situation. I knew the situation that happened. Um, you know, I, although saying that, I did have some supportive messages, you know, lift your head up. How did it make you feel? And your family as well. I mean, did you tell your family? How did you just sum that up? <laughs> I remember speaking to my mum. She was emotional, you know, she was in tears. You know, she's just thinking, why him, why him? You know, it's obviously not nice to hear, you know, mm. especially seeing your son getting um, abused. Um, for me, I'm always a strong character, you know. Um, it doesn't affect me as much, but... You know, all of saying that it could affect people who don't have, like, obviously my personality. Did you ever think that racism would be an issue for your generation? You'll have known about it, obviously, from the past, but did you think that your generation would have to deal with it? No, I didn't think it would be an issue in our day and age. Um, it's never nice to hear. I think it's just recently it's just been an excuse, you know, now to, you know, it's trying to, I think, knock them down. Mm. It's trying to knock them down and... You know, they do it with fake accounts and all sorts, you know, so, you know, just out, the only advice I'll give is just to block it out, let the football do the talking, you know, they want a reaction, really. Prince William's a big supporter of yours. <laughs> he talked last week about you specifically, said, I've had enough. Um, he was promoting his own mental health charity, but he said, look, I want to get involved in this fight against racism because of what's happened to Tammy. That must be nice to hear. Mm -hmm. It is, you know, this is my first time hearing it by it, to be fair. Um, quick message, I am all right. <laughs> um, yeah, no, but it's nice to have that support behind you. You know, um, someone as big as he is, you know, when he puts a word out there, a lot of people will listen, like, like we said about role models and people, the crowd behind you, you know, um, a lot of people will hear his voice. Rashford sent you a supportive message on social media. Did you see that, where he said, and I'll read it to you. Keep your head held high, Tammy. We've all had them saved. That's football. We should be celebrating young English talent, not this. That must have been nice Yeah, to read. when I read it, I think it made me smile. You know, it's nice, obviously. Me and Marcus have built that good relationship together. Um, yeah, so it's obviously nice to know that he's there supporting um, all the way across the world for me. Um, yeah, and Jesse as well. Jesse sent a Lingard, yes. personal message to me as well. So it's... It's nice to have that support, man. Does football need leaders like you guys so that maybe players who don't have your profile can feel that they're being supported? Yeah, it does. I think it does. You know, um, you know, I've seen, obviously, I think the first time I saw anyone speak out was probably Raheem Sterling, you know, because um, I follow him on Instagram and I, I wasn't aware of the situation at the time. You know, I saw his Instagram post and so many footballers commenting underneath it, stay strong, reposting it, you know, for everyone to see and you know with the millions of followers I'm sure millions of kids have seen it and you know it, it needs to it needs to be stopped you know because we can have kids growing up you know obviously involved in football and we don't want to hit that's we, we don't want to hear that, them things no more you know we just want to put a stop to it. Are you surprised Twitter as a social media company they've got a code of conduct but they can still have words that will get onto their site that are not seen as offensive the kind of thing that you had? If you're going to block some words, you might as well just block everything that's negative, really. You know, because it just gives everyone an excuse to go online behind their laptops, behind their phones, in their bed, to, to say what they want. And, you know, some people might not think we see it, but we do see it. It does affect some people. So Twitter need to understand that, you know, that is bullying over social media. We are humans. We do see it. It does affect us.